What's up, guys? I am here today with Vivek Bavishi, that API guy. What's up? And welcome back, Vivek. How's it going, man? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing really good. I'm doing really good. I'm actually excited for this. I we've you know check this out. I've made over seventy flow videos now. You wow. have actually been in several of them, mm-hmm. yeah. uh, but but none of them have actually talked about custom connectors. Hmm, that's interesting. Well, I know. We'll do it today. <laughs> All right. Okay. And so, guys, that's what we're here to do today. Me and that API guy. Imagine that we're going to talk about how to wrap an API and make a custom connector. So uh, you guys are probably familiar with Vivek. If you're not, I'm gonna go ahead and put his links down below. Check out his Twitter, check out his YouTube, uh, check out some of his previous videos he's done. He's uh, he's helped me connect to Siri. He's done uh, uh, a Spotify road trip, uh, Twitter thing. It, it's It's been wild. And so we're gonna expand on that a little bit here today. So Vivek, the floor is yours, my friend. Thanks, John. And uh, it's interesting. My journey with creating content actually started with APIs, and it's kind of funny to make this video now with you. Uh, That's awesome. So, yeah, Full super circle. excited about this. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, today uh, what we'll try to build is uh, based on our road trip. We uh, we did the Spotify stuff. It wasn't that we had to do some kind of workarounds there. Yeah. But uh, we have, I figured it out how to put it in a custom connector make it work very smoothly and that's what we're going to show today that's amazing i love this if you haven't seen the road trip video go ahead and be sure to check that out like we had so much fun and and that's the first version of where this whole thing came from yeah okay so um i'll do it all from scratch so that you know how to build it um if you're building it for the first time so go to flow.microsoft.com um, go to custom connectors on this menu and it will take you to this section where you can create your own custom connector. A bunch of them here. So you just go and click on new custom connector, create from blank. Add a name, uh, it says Spotify demo with John. Um, so, and you can do some stuff, you can add an icon if you want, but we'll just not do that right now. Um, so it will start asking you these kind of URLs and stuff. So basically custom connector is nothing but um, something that it, you don't have a connector yet uh, on Inflow or Power Automate. Yeah. Uh, but if you want to create something which you have an API for and you just want to connect to it, you can create this yourself. So it's basically APIs. Yeah. And that's why it will ask you all these kind of hosts and URLs and client ID and client secret, all that stuff. Yeah, it's super handy because, you know, in Flow, we often connect a lot of these services for you. We wrap them up and make them into connectors so that you can use the triggers and actions. But sometimes, you know, like with Spotify, we don't have a connector for that. And so if you want to go ahead and take advantage of that service and use their their actions and things that they can do, uh, this custom connector is, is how you can do that. And so it is a little bit more technical, but mm-hmm. hopefully – with Vivex walkthrough here, ideally, this is what we're here yeah. for. It'll be a little less intimidating and a little bo- little bit more approachable. Yeah, yeah. So uh, what we'll also what we'll do is I'll, I'll try to put a link. I'll host like a download for the custom connectors. So if you're doing it for the first time, just download that and import it so that you can just start it off as it is. But uh, awesome. this video will give you an option to actually see the step by step method that you can. Troubleshoot it later. Okay. So, uh, so because we are building the Spotify one, um, we will jump onto the Spotify kind of. Um, how do you actually? You need some access first to connect to your Spotify account. Uh, so we go to this um, Spotify. So uh, once you log into Spotify, you probably should have premium. Otherwise, the connector won't do a lot of stuff for you. You can't play tracks just like that. So I would recommend getting a premium. Um, it's a free three months trial. Just get it and remember to cancel it if you want to later on. But uh, try it with the trial version of the premium so that you can try more stuff. 
Plus, uh, I mean, like everyone should have Spotify. Yeah. I just, I'm a, and they don't even pay me to say that. If you guys want to pay me Spotify to keep saying that, I'm open to that. But they didn't pay me for that one. <laughs> okay. So uh, once you go to Spotify, click on account. Um, it actually, so it will show you, I just wanted to show you these kind of apps. This is the place where it shows you if you have created any apps. Now, it doesn't give you an option to add an app here. So what you'll do is you go to Spotify API, just search for that. And it gives you this link. This will be the first thing. So just click on Spotify, this web API for developers. And this is the place where um, you would want to create an, an app, basically. So the app means uh, something that you're creating so that you can then uh, connect to it, connect to your kind of account, and then use the Spotify API. So that's what they call an app. So I already have two apps created here, but I'll create a new one. Uh, we'll name it Power Automate this time because I already used up some other ones. Uh, just you don't need to be anything specific here. Just repeat the same thing. It doesn't go through any approval or anything. You just need to give some information. In here, don't select I don't know because then it won't give you access. Select mobile app. Uh, it just you can select something else as well. But if you select mobile app, you'll be fine. Okay. And then it's basically is confirming that you're not using it for commercial use. This is for your personal use. You're not selling this to anyone. So say you're developing. Nope. I understand, blah, 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 submit. And there you go. You have an app created, you have a client ID and a client secret. I'll be deleting this so that you don't get access to this later. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, these are the two things that you'll need in the custom connector. So what okay. I'll do is I'll copy this in my sticky note here so that I can easily access it later. All right. So Going back to the custom connector, uh, you need some URLs here. Now, I know these on the top of my head, but mostly they'll be there in the documentation. Uh, generally go to the docs in here and they'll have some reference to how to authenticate and everything. So I won't go into those details here in this video, but okay. uh, you can check out some other videos on how to kind of, kind of learn APIs as such. So once you have that URL, I'll just click on next. That's a security thing. Um, Spotify uses OAuth 2.0. That's a type of authentication where you are using basically tokens. Uh, so you're authorizing first and then you're getting a token. And every time you're making the request, you're kind of getting a new token as well. So uh, it's just a method for making it more secure compared to any of the other authentications. OK. So in here, one thing which if you are going to create a Spotify custom connector, do not select Spotify from here because it's broken. <laughs> okay. And that's something we'll have to log a bug for. Uh, but it breaks up something in the scope. Uh, and it, so I, I'll tell you later what it breaks. <laughs> OK. Uh, so once we have this defined, uh, I'll take the client ID, copy that, client secret, copy that as well. And now I need like these URLs for authorization. Again, these will be something that you get from the documentation. This is the authorization URL for this API. There's a token URL. And then refresh URL most of the time is the same URL unless they have specified something else. Okay. So every time you get a token from the API, it expires and <laughs> expires generally like in an hour or in a day, it depends on the API. But yep. uh, I remember yeah. in our road trip, we were, <laughs> we were having to re-pull that token every yep. every 49 every minutes or something like That's that. Right. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and the next one, uh, that's the scope thing. And I'll, so scope is basically, and I have some, okay. 
So these are all the different scopes or basically permissions that I need from the API. So let's say if I want to create a playlist, they have a specific scope for it, like a playlist uh, modify private. So if I want to create a private playlist, I need this scope defined. Otherwise, the, the API, I mean the app won't ask me for that permission. And if I don't have that permission with that app, it won't let me create. Okay. Uh, so every and if I will quickly show you one thing here, um, so let's say player or get a users away for devices. Um, let's click on create. When I click on get token, it tells me, okay, this one requires a user read playback state. This is the scope I need for it. Ah. Um, so these are all the different scopes you'll need. Uh, in our case, I've chosen what scopes we'll need, uh, to, but you can, if you need to create more actions later on, go ahead and look at the scopes needed for that action. That's and cool. then you can add it. Yep. You know, that kind of makes it easy, really. I mean, if you know where to look, then you're just copy and pasting stuff. So, yeah, so that it, makes it pretty simple. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you can, you can anything, once you create a custom container, you can always modify it as well. So that's not an issue. Cool. The redirect URL is generated once we save or create this connector. And that is something that you will need uh, to enter in the app. So I'll click on create connector. Don't want to save this. And um, so it it's smart enough to identify it's Spotify. <laughs> nice. But uh, the, the thing that was going wrong, if you had served Spotify by itself in the drop down, it didn't ask me for those permissions in the scope. So when we create the new connection, it was not asking me for all the permissions. Uh, and then my app custom connector was failing. Got Whereas it. Whereas if I went through this route, it did ask me for those permissions. This is a bug we should file. Yep. So I'll copy this redirect URL. This is something that you have to go back in your app and uh, where's my dashboard? Uh, so this app, I have to click on edit settings, redirect URIs. So I need to add that redirect URL. Click on add, click on save. So that way it knows this is the redirect URL. So this is something that it needs to know that you have defined it and you are you're kind of it's another layer of kind of authentication if you want to say that yep. you're only allowing these uh, urls as redirects makes sense it's a handshake right it's i'm yeah. giving you data you're giving it back yep yeah so, got it so next we click on definition so this is the place where you so you're done with the security now you need to define actions like what do you want to do with this api okay so for this video what we do is we'll just get like current get current song so whatever i'm playing on spotify it will get that with all the details of the song so we'll see okay. that in action so you need to define what these actions are you can define whatever you want to but this operation id this is the one which you'll see up in the flow and when you create a flow uh, in your list of actions so you can describe it better if you're giving it to some user to use it, but otherwise it's just for your use. Just make it something sensible so that you okay. understand it. Um, import from, so this, you need to define the request, what it is, like a sample of it. So you can set get, and let me go back to Spotify. You go into docs, web API, um, reference, so what I want is, this is the player uh, kind of section, and I need my get uh, uh, get information about the user's current no, playback. Ne next one down, no, two down, playing track at the user's currently playing oh, track. Oh, currently playing, yep, that's the one, yeah. So I just need to copy this URL, uh, go back to my custom connector, paste this, and just click on import because I don't need anything else on this. Um, and that's it. It uh, knows now that this is the action and this is the URL that it needs to kind of call. And we that's simple. Yep, it's that simple. Whoa.
okay. Update That's awesome. connector. I mean, oh, these are the things. Yeah, yeah it, Basically, makes it much more easy than using HTTP requests in the flow, right? It's yeah. basically that's the same steps that you're doing here. You're defining like a package here, so that then you can use it in flow without defining that whole package. I love it, man. I don't know about all of you out there, but I'm actually impressed at how simple that was. And that's it. We'll uh, click on create new connection. I'm already logged in uh, on my Spotify here, so it won't ask me that. But otherwise, it will ask me. Uh, Whoa, look. look how official it is. So now you'll see. So it does all this in the URL, right? So yeah. authorized client ID, client secret, and the scope that are defined, everything. So yeah. This, yeah. this is the place that you need to say agree. How okay. you do to each random app in the world to agree. <laughs> this is an app that you created. You should feel proud and you should trust it and just click on agree. Heck yeah. <laughs> Better than any random app. So it creates a connection, and this is the connection that you need to use um, to uh, basically test it. Then, so you just, all right. So, so now I you do need this, to be you need to play a song on Spotify, right? Yep. So okay. I, I did uh, I did share the teams with the audio, so it should you should be able to hear it. Okay. Let's see. Are you hearing? Yeah, it? I hear it. I hear it. Okay. <laughs> All right. There you go. And so we clicked on get current song and it got us the song and that's that's the album and all languages and stuff and there should be somewhere. Yep, celebrate good times. That's the song. Nice. So yeah, it's that simple. Uh, and now because I'm not playing anything, if I do, or actually it's still open, so it will show up. Uh, but yeah, you can then create any action that you want. There are multiple actions. Uh, like there's uh, to add it, like this playlist stuff, you can add to playlist, you can do all that. And we actually are gonna make another video where we will talk about some more cool stuff with it. So, uh, watch that video and we make sure that we add the link somewhere Thank for that. Awesome. So now that we have created the custom connector, you add it quickly in a flow. Um, so let me get create a flow, and trigger a flow, and we search for Spotify. That's uh, so if you see it shows I, I have multiple ones created, but this is the one which we created right now. Yep. I'll select that one and it gives me that action. Awesome. Sim, sim, very similar to how you use any of the other actions and any yeah. other connectors. That is so cool. And then it would say sign in. And since you already did, boom. Yep, that's it. It didn't doesn't need any input. Otherwise, if you have any inputs, it will give you those kind of fields as it gives you in any other um, connector. I love it. And we quickly actually get some, save it. Let me make sure play it again. Yes. There you go. Detected it here. There you go. That's the body. All right. Awesome. That's awesome. All right. Yeah. And so that's it. That's how we put together a custom connector. And so, you know, think Spotify is a fun one, right? There's a lot of fun things you can do in your personal life, but but this example is actually applicable to any API that yeah has some decent documentation. Mm -hmm. you, you could do this with any API, you know, if you can figure out your way around the, the API, but if there's some decent documentation like this, uh, it really becomes accessible, it really becomes easy, and you can see how quickly you can put together a custom connector that you can use in your business. Yeah, the, the, 
the limit is kind of endless. You can most of the good kind of I would say any good uh, type of company would basically have an API. So if, I know even Tesla. Shane made a, a connector to connect to his Tesla. Yeah. So if yeah. you can do that, you can do anything. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Well, hey, Vivek. Thanks for coming and joining us, man, and, and showing us how to create a custom connector and, and how to do it in such a quick and accessible and easy way. I appreciate that. Yep. Always happy to help and always uh, happy to work with APIs. All right. Well, hey, if you guys want to see Vivek do more with APIs, go ahead and make sure to follow his YouTube. The link is in the description. Get with him on Twitter. He's got a whole bunch of videos and content that comes out all the time about stuff just like this. Uh, you know what to do. Click like, click subscribe, leave us some comments about what you think. Much love from both of us. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.